Back when I was a kid growing up in Colorado, I read the magazines. Uh, you got Alva and Prout, all the Dogtown guys and all that kind of stuff. And then across the street from my church, they built a skate park. But I never had the pads, I never had a real skateboard. It was like a freeformer, I think I got. One of those little, uh, it's like a penny board now. So then, I moved out here and a, a girlfriend of mine at the time, she had a, a long skateboard, sort of, sort of like that. So anyways, I started skateboarding with her and then after we woke up, I kept on skateboarding, but I would just skateboard like as a form of transportation back and forth to the gym. I don't do ollies or anything like that until they open this place. So you used to go to the gym all the time and I just stopped doing that because you don't get an adrenaline rush at the gym and you get adrenaline here. Yeah, it's not normal throwing yourself off 10 foot concrete embankments. Oh yeah, it's fine. I used to have a 69 Corvette convertible. It was my daily driver for years and years. It didn't fit my skateboard gear, didn't fit my mountain bike, my water ski gear, didn't fit any of my stuff. So I didn't really drive it. So uh, my brother ended up buying that and I started looking for a station wagon and lo and behold, this is what I came up with. It took me about six months to find it. Had to get it shipped out, and was in tune, hadn't been driven a long time and it looked great. Had this nice interior, but then I've changed pretty much everything else in it. Yeah, the engine in it's not a it's not an original engine, but it's a V8. It's a 350 small block with aluminum heads on it. Edelbrock intake and Edelbrock carburetor. I'm putting a Holley fuel injection on it soon. Yeah, it's got a 700 R4 behind it. Bilstein shocks. It's uh, it's my daily driver. The speedometer. I I, uh, I went on eBay and I found a used 55 Chevy speedometer, and it was like 27 bucks. And I gave it to Shannon, the guys at uh, at Redline Gauge Works. And they ended up putting uh, put speed hut internals in it. And it's a GPS speedometer. It'll tell you elevation, quarter mile time. Uh, I think there's like 13 functions on it. It's got to hit a little button. Uh, and I love the odometer, so I can reset the, the trip odometer, uh, just like a modern car. It's super cool. When I worked on rods and wheels, at one point they had me come up to Malibu. Artie and I were taking surf lessons. So as I'm driving up Pacific Coast Highway in my '55 Chevy, I decided to put on Beach Boys Radio and Chuck Berry. And it's like Maybelline came on, you know, up in the morning, just these classic rock songs. It was like I'm driving up PCH in my 55 through Malibu. I live in the dream! For the questions, don't hesitate to ask me. My name's Jeff. Any other qualified product specialist here at the show? What I do, I'm a motorsports host. A co-host of the Hot Rod, Power Tour, the Car Craft Summer Nationals. I'm also a product specialist for Chevrolet, so like at the LA Auto Show. Uh, I'm the guy who, you, who will be telling you about the, uh, the, the new Silverado. Colorado. It's taken the, the midsize segment by storm. Actually, it owns the midsize segment. What was the Motor Trend truck of the year the past couple years? So it's like I work here at Chevy, and every so often there'll be one of those guys. Uh, what do you drive? One of my standard responses is I don't just talk the talk, I drive the brand. So I talk cars all day for the brand that I love. Uh, the car that I drive, living in Southern California, the only place on the planet you can drive an open-wheeled, open-fettered hot rod 360 days out of the year. It's like living the dream, driving a Chevy.